The guavas are bl in bloom once again in my Modesto, California yard. It's that time of year. Oh, guavas. Reminds me of my days when I lived in Hawaii. It reminds me of the smell of Hawaiian punch, fruit punch. Guavas is a big part of that flavor. It reminds me of my wife's tropical guava jam. Delicious on whole wheat toast with a little bit of butter. But we're not here to talk about that today. We're here to talk about the fertilizer I use to get massive amounts of fruit on this beautiful Mexican cream guava. But first, if you like this channel, hit the like, the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments section below. So yeah, let's take a look at this tree and the fertilizer I use to get large quantities of fruit. So guavas are pretty much heavy feeders. The growth, once they get past the seedling stage, they take off and they produce a lot of fruit, especially here in my garden. So you can use a general fertilizer such as this. It's not organic, but it's a 16, 16, 16, equal amounts, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Uh, and it does just fine. If you are into the organic scene, this will work. I use this uh, on a lot of my trees. It, uh, it takes a little bit more fertilizer because you can see the numbers are quite a bit uh, lower uh, in the ratios, but I use uh, this one first uh, because it just puts on a lot of growth. It dissolves quickly in the soil and I sprinkle about a cup uh, per tree and you don't want to put it right next to the trunk as I was showing you there. I uh, take about a cup and I sprinkle it around uh, in the uh, mulch layer that I have around the tree. And then I water it in using this uh, little bubbler type uh, wand. I love this darn thing. It's, uh, I use it to water the few uh, trees I have in containers and I also use it in some air specialized areas in my backyard because I can use it almost as a drip. As you can see here, I can shut it all the way down to a drip where I get the deep watering without wasting water. Uh, but yeah, you want to make sure to get that all that fertilizer watered in good, touching the soil below the uh, compost layer. Um, again, if you like um, organic fertilizer, and I do a lot of stuff that I use organic fertilizer, and it's a little more expensive, uh, and it takes a while longer to uh, put out the growth, but this organic uh, fertilizer is really good. Oh, if you're getting lots of leaves and not a lot of fruit and flowers, try this out. This Bloom Booster Flower Food with Miracle Growth. Again, it's not organic, but it really pushes out the flowers and the fruit. Uh, you'll mix that into a one gallon container and you'll water it in and it's pretty quick. So as you can see, there's not much to proper fertilizing uh, with guavas. Guavas are pretty darn much a weed in my garden and in Hawaii and I believe Florida, they're a bit invasive, but they're invasive with a beautiful fruit. It tastes wonderful. So if you like this channel, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe button, and the notification bell. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'd like to do a few shout outs uh, to some of my viewers, and they're also YouTubers. A shout out to Johnny of Johnny's World. Uh, a shout out to Gary Gregg. He has a wonderful channel. He also has a palm nursery in the Bay Area that sells exotic tropical fruit trees, avocados and mangoes and the like. And shout out to Brett at uh, Lionheart84. He is in England. He does these. He reminds me of myself when I was a little bit younger and I was trying out all different kinds of trees to see if they would work in my cooler than tropical climate. So. Once again, if you like this channel, hit that subscribe button and you have a good day.